Hey guys, this is a video explaining Xbox One using the Xbox 360 as a cable box for cable card tuner support. Um, many people thought that there would be no cable card tuner support at all for the Xbox One with Windows Media Center, but you can use this with the Xbox 360 as an extender. So it might not be exactly what we wanted, but at least there is a little bit of support now. Um, to get this done, it's a little cumbersome or whatever, but once you get it up and running, it's fairly easy and everything works fine. It's just the initial setup, which is kind of messed up, but it's doable and it's something better than nothing at all. Because before, like I said, we thought there would be no support at all. Um, as you guys can see here, I already do have the Xbox 360 plugged into the Xbox One into the HDMI in port on the Xbox One. Um, to set this up initially, you will need the Xbox 360 controller. Um, you can't control the Xbox 360 with the Xbox One until you actually get into live TV. Um, when also initially setting up the Xbox 360 going through the live TV setup on Xbox One, when it asks you for the cable provider to use, I'm sorry, when it asks you for the cable box brand, select Xbox. If you don't see it in the list, just type the word Xbox and then you'll see it pop up in the list for you to select as a cable box. Um, I'm going to use the controller here and sign into Windows Media Center like I normally would on my Xbox 360. We're going to wait for that to load up. Alright, so there's Windows Media Center and still using the Xbox 360 controller. I'm going to click on Live TV. Now set the Xbox 360 controller down here. Okay, and there we have Live TV set up. I can turn the volume up here. And you can see it's ESPN playing. I'll turn it back down now. Um, there's ESPN playing, and now you have control of the Xbox 360 Live TV with the Xbox One, and you have all the full support just like a cable box. Um, I'll use now the connect controls to show you guys how it looks or how it functions once you use the connect controls with it. Xbox, watch Fox News. Alright, so it didn't recognize me. Xbox. Xbox. <laughs> Shout outs to connect. Watch Fox News. All right, and so it changes, it uses your Xbox 360 and changes to Fox News with the connect commands from Xbox One. So all this is working fine together. Xbox, watch ESPN. Okay, and now it changed back to ESPN just fine. You also have full support for the Xbox One guide. Xbox One Guy. Xbox One Guy. And now it's going to bring up the One Guide here. And it has my cable listings and things just as if a cable, normal cable box was plugged in. Um, Xbox. Watch AMC. It just recommended that, so I'm just going to select it. I'm going to full screen it here. Yay, and I got pistillation. <laughs> That's my um, cable signal. It's not too great. Xbox, go home. And this is just to prove to you guys that I'm still inside of Xbox One and that this isn't a trick video or anything of that nature. Support is there. It's not that great for because you do have to have your Xbox 360 on and the Xbox One on, and you initially have to use your Xbox controller to get into Media Center and Live TV. 
but hey it's something better than nothing so I just want to show you guys that this is where you can still have cable card support using the Xbox One and your Xbox 360 thanks guys